Come have some fun and watch some games. Time to get crazy. It's night and day. Yeah. Night and day back again. Yes, we are back. We're back in the world. Of life is strange. I, 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 stop holding your arms in a strange way. Time to wiggle and wiggle and jiggle and wiggle and jiggle and max. Woo! So we're done talking to Brooke. We're gonna talk to. Oh God! Oh, the creeper. Away another batch of dead birds today. Sad. Makes me mad. Climate change isn't real, my ass. I think everything is changing here. As a scientist, I'm fascinated. As Michelle Grant, I'm very worried. Arcadia Bay is scared too. Look at the weather and the animals. Not to mention Poor Cape Marsh. We all need to look out for each other these days. You guys are on the verge of having two different conversations. Yeah, it's funny. I was there. I was in the exact same mindset. It's like they're literally just like picking out what they want to hear from the other person's conversation and going off that. <laughs> Everything else, she's completely failing to realize just how creepy he's being. Mm. I also like animals. <laughs> Mrs. Grant looks interested in whatever Samuel's saying. No, Max, no. that is not that look, okay? Don't, don't look, read into that. She's, there's zero eye contact. She yeah. kind of, look at that. She's like, uh, where, how soon can I get off of this bench without being impolite? Look at her, look how far. She's yeah. on the edge of the damn bench, Max. Right, right. She's looking for a way out. Now she's looking over there. She's not look. She's not wrapped around every board. Okay, Grant. Max. Max, you always Hi. show up when I'm talking about you. And I How swear, often are you talking it's about It's not about that petition <laughs> really? you didn't sign. It's about your breath. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't sign it and your breath stank. <laughs> All right, so she's a science teacher, so let's get... Yeah, let's get her science take We already know she doesn't know much about right, that. So right. let's actually go with Nathan first, I okay. think. Okay, yeah. Nathan is the main priority if we only get one option. That's true. I was looking for Nathan That's Prescott, true. and I thought he might be in your class. Mr. Prescott he has did. no class at all after his suspension. Oh! I didn't think you were friends. <laughs> there it is. Double entendre. Yeah. You know him better? Does she, though? She just grades his papers. And yeah, we don't know. Them. Yeah, just, yeah. Hell no. Hell no. Hell no, yeah. Sorry, Miss Grant. You're an adult. You can swear, damn it. And I'm glad <laughs> you did. So, you haven't seen Nathan at all? Let's just say I tried to. No, I haven't. Yeah. <laughs> but I did catch him storming off campus. Garbage piece of shit. <laughs> I, haven't seen. I hope you don't see him either. You're not the best student here, but you, you might be the wisest. Thanks. Yeah, that's... A backhanded compliment, I guess. It is. I yeah. mean, realistically, being but, wiser is much more important than having yeah. the best grades. And it is real because, I guess it's realistic because, like, um, there's already a couple other people in the class that are better. Like, Warren, for right. instance, is yeah, yeah. much better, so. Yeah, she knows. Yeah, she, Max is under no illusion exactly. that she's the... She's the top student. I was yeah. hoping you could explain some of these crazy things happening in Arcadia Bay. If I could... I'd be collecting my Nobel Prize in science today. I haven't been able to wrap my mind around that eclipse, much less the I can't snow stand the writer's handling of the eclipse. <laughs> like, was the moon in a different spot? Right. Yes or no? Apparently, from they're saying the entire scientific community can't explain it, so it wasn't yeah. the moon. And if it wasn't the moon, was there another celestial body yeah. or something that just like circular that got in the way of the sun or whatnot? Right. Right. Or it doesn't even have to be circular, it just passes... Just, yeah, passing by. Right. Um, Was there any camera, blah, 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 mm -hmm. any recording of and anything? Like, yeah, right. Did anything appear before the sun or after the sun, like, after that eclipse? Right. Like, we have hundreds of thousands of satellites all throughout space. You'd think something would be there. Are there legit yeah. thousands of satellites? I guess there there's, might be. Because yeah, there's, yeah. I mean, satellites for cell phones and TV channels mm -hmm. and all that pointless garbage. Yeah, yeah. Weather, GPS, uh, cell phones, internet services. Military spy. Military, all that <laughs> stuff. Yeah, yeah. And then for every nation, too. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Right. right. There Maybe. must be a scientific explanation. Right? No, it's voodoo. When your friends at NASA <laughs> tell me they can't explain a solar eclipse without a single theory as to how or why, maybe it's Actually, we're burning witches about it right now. <laughs> like they are. I am worried about reality. 
I feel like it's changing right in front of us. You and Samuel both. We were talking about that oh, no. before you came over. Our plan Never is mind. Changing, but it's not <laughs> I'm not worried about anything. I don't want to be ever in the you and Samuel sentence. Huh. I guess we should say scientific with her. Yeah, I think... Cause, uh, yeah, well, she is wearing a legit peace necklace. Hmm. Well, that doesn't mean you're a hippie or anything. Yeah, right, right. She is the science teacher. Yeah, right. So, I... I mean, she has no explanation about the dying animals. I guess that we know of, anyway. Right. So, but prophecy? It seems a little. Yeah, <laughs> a little I don't far know. Fetched. There's no great ones. Yeah. I'm, I'm more curious. I guess I'm more curious about the dying animals. Is there potential for her to have an explanation for that? I don't know. We know she doesn't, yeah. I guess. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. We already know. Yeah. She'll just be like, right. scientists don't know, so I'm worried. Yeah. <laughs> it's a. Yeah. I might have a theory. It's poison. <laughs> and that's it. All right. I guess... I, let's just yeah, try yeah, prophecy. Let's try Maybe there let's is try something it. to learn. Hey, thanks for spying on us, Brooke. Yeah. <laughs> so, we see you. You don't think this could be some kind of prophecy or something? Max, you know how fascinated I am by Arcadia Bay legends. But I there haven't are found Arcadia any Bay legends signs <laughs> yet. Unless you count those end-of-the-world posters. Unless you know something I don't. Are there Orlando legends? <laughs> the legends the le of Disney Walt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I guess the legend is that he is frozen, or he, his head is frozen, or something like that. Yeah, I found out later That's... that he's not. Yeah. <laughs> I found out later that he's not. You're really disappointed when he went to Disney World. He wasn't there. No, no, not that he's yeah, not. Yeah. But yeah, he didn't have his body frozen. He was just right. cremated like yeah. a normal dude. Right. Right. But Larry King had his cell frozen. Did he? Yeah. Mm. Was was it? <laughs> did he have a huge meal beforehand? <laughs> so the joke can persist. If you guys know what we're talking about, you can watch the Night and Day yeah. on podcast. I think it's number five. Yeah, it's like the old Disney Magic <laughs> one. It's very, very crazy. <laughs> Um, yeah, let's ask her her theories about time travel, honestly. Yeah, right, right. Like, oh, Tabong is the legend, but who cares? Let's mm -hmm. see if she knows anything relevant yeah. that can help us. What about wormholes and chaos theory? I like, time travel stuff. I think chaos the theory. only wormhole is time nothing, travel. Yeah, yeah. Underground. And chaos theory is just that. But if this is about time travel, sign me up. Would you really change time? Not after reading that Bradbury story, A Sound of Thunder. I won't give it away, but it involves dinosaurs and butterflies. Time is like a thread, Max. One tug and it all can unravel. That was so weird. <laughs> I don't buy that crap. That's just crap. But if you want to talk about time travel, yeah! yeah count me in. <laughs> oh, what? I forget. Maybe she's just really, really, really into time travel and how not to, like, never use it. <laughs> She's Kate's guardian angel about her powers, I guess. Yeah, the butterfly effect is very appropriate. I don't think surveillance Boop. would have helped Kate Marsh. Who needs surveillance when we have Maxine Caulfield? You did a wonderful People thing. People without superpowers. And now yeah. we have to make sure Kate gets the help she needs. Do you need to talk to a counselor? Huh, those are interesting options. Yeah. What does she mean by Blackwell needs help? Is she going to say it's, something else is going on? Right, right, yeah, that's what I'm worried about. Like... It's true. Yeah, I mean, it's it's only going to help Max's case if she brings in, like, a, a faculty member that she can trust. Mm -hmm. Like, with the whole Nathan Prescott thing and all that, so... I mean, even if she does somehow, I mean, it's still good. Yeah, this is another dialogue wheel thing. I would yeah. like to know where she's going with this mm -hmm. before... Anyway... Yeah, I guess in, in either way it is true. <laughs> Blackwell does need help. Yeah, so. that's true. Yeah. needs the help. There's something terrible going on here. Yeah, we want to find the dark it, right? room. Mm -hmm. This week hasn't been Blackwell's the school? finest hour. Is it in the lighthouse? Because that's pretty ironic. Right. Until right. All the students or, here like, we, like you said before, is it bullied. actually at Kate the Prescott's residence? was drugged residence? at the Vortex mm -hmm. Club party and bullied by them until she ended up on the roof. How do you stop that? Shut down that damn Vortex Club for a start. 
I don't mean to get riled up, but that party should have been postponed. No. It's extremely That's true. tasteless mm -hmm. given what happened with Kate. Yeah, I agree with that yeah. 100%. 100%, yeah. What are we saying here? The voice is freaking... <laughs> The dialogue wheel is even more vague than usual after that segue. Yeah. <laughs> I guess is this who, like, is this how they're? She's assigning blame. Like, yeah. yeah, that oh, the party's happening because Principal Wells wants it to, or the Prescotts are fighting hard for it. But Nathan's not here. <laughs> she just like had a really weird facial reaction. She's like, <laughs> she did this frog shit. <laughs> <laughs> She just saw like a butterfly go. <laughs> like her duck. <laughs> oh man. Uh, I mean, if we're talking about who's at fault for the Blackwell thing, it's Principal Wells. Yeah, right, right. But if we're talking about who's at fault for the bigger picture, it's the Prescotts. I mean, we did originally come here to get more info on Nathan. So True. going with the Prescotts is probably the better way to get pertinent information. Yeah, although. She is more likely to have actual information about the principal than mm. the Prescotts. So, yeah, we could actually get information that she knows. She probably knows nothing. Yeah, there she goes, frogging it again. Frog it up, baby. <laughs> <laughs> She's just chilling and frogging it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I see where you're coming from on that. I. <laughs> <laughs> All right, either one is totally fine. Yeah, yeah, I, I feel you. So uh, big picture, just in case she has something, or smaller picture because she's more likely to, even though she won't have anything. Mm. So this is one of these things where we take four minutes and it doesn't matter. Right, right. Uh, I'll just say go Prescott. Do the Prescotts have anything to do with the Vortex Club? I mean, they don't get all their money from car washes. No, they don't. But membership has its privileges, especially when mm. your father is Blackwell's biggest sponsor. This elitist nonsense has no place here. You're right. I, I just wish this could be the school that I dreamed about before I came here. I hear you, Max. That's I life, love Max. You yeah, and right. And all my students at your best here. Don't meet your heroes and all that. <laughs> You're all too young to be so cynical. But you truly give me hope. I'm sorry, Miss Grant. I, I have to get going. <laughs> I'll see you later. It's always good talking to you. Thanks for the heartfelt message, but this is too much. I gotta go. <laughs> you truly gave me hope. Gotta go. Yeah. Take this hope and shove it up your... <laughs> yeah, exactly. I hope you can hold on to that thought because cool I'm leaving. <laughs> and what do you mean it's, we're too cynical? A girl just nearly jumped off the yeah. roof. Yeah, exactly. That's a pretty harsh dose of reality for everyone here. Yeah, I think, I mean... Honestly, I think that's what everyone needs to, like, get them out of this, like, weird, like, this weird privileged thing that they're all living in. Yeah, like, well, I mean, the other side of that is they're in college. They shouldn't be concerned with life or death situations. Yeah. They shouldn't be ultra cynical. Yeah, and it shouldn't true. feel like the world's going to end at the end of the week. Right, right, yeah. So, I mean, to be fair, when they're playing innocent pranks on each other or whatever, mm -hmm. like, I agree Nathan went too far, but yeah. other kids making fun of a video they saw is totally normal. Yeah, <laughs> right, right, yeah. That is very college, for sure. Yeah, yeah. or even high school. Yeah. Or even right, middle right. school. Yeah. <laughs> ah, you're a whore, we saw what you did. Yeah. Like, that's that's kids. That that's is. people in general. That is, yeah, Samuel yeah. Uh, Unlike this freak. <laughs> How are you doing, Max? It's been a tough week. Of course he brings yeah, up squirrels okay. and we didn't even start that. yet. Oh my god. How are you? Sad and confused like everybody else in Arcadia Bay. You look like you have a lot of questions too. <laughs> Hopefully about squirrels. <laughs> <laughs> and how cuddly and <laughs> how good they taste. But don't worry, you won't find my fingerprints on any of them. Yeah. I wear my gloves 24-7. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> More questions. Uh, what is this? Dude? We'll just talk about Some everything. Animals. Animals. Yeah. <laughs> people. <laughs> Have you seen Nathan? Nathan how do you feel about that would be people <laughs> since he was suspended? <laughs> oh my god, it would be so funny to walk around and out, talk to people like we're like mm. video game characters. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just like that. <laughs> hey, what do you think about people? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. Hey, nice to see you. How do you feel about local events? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
recent <laughs> events. Yeah. Boy, that insert weather here was <laughs> crazy, wasn't it? <laughs> How about that? Recent sports game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wasn't it great when local sports team got the point? <laughs> That, oh, um, we'd immediately be in the same asylum. <laughs> it depends on how, like, if we combo it. Like, yeah. you're... Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm talking to the person, like a crazy person, and, like, they're giving weird looks, and then you walk up, and they're, like, looking at you for help, and then you're like, oh, yeah, I, I don't know what's going on here. This unusual scenario is not working out. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. like, as oh. soon as you finish your conversation, just randomly come up to them. It's like, boy, that guy was really weird, right? Mm-hmm. I don't know how to react if random, <laughs> strange interaction happened to me. <laughs> oh, my God. Unclassified variable. Yeah. <laughs> Divided by zero. <laughs> Error. Division yeah. by zero. <laughs> Uh, All right, let's continue on with this freak yeah. show. Yeah, yeah, sounds really. sad, Samuel. Nathan hurts people. The end. What do you really know about him? Not enough to help you, Max. I truly Penis wish I <laughs> I see what you're doing. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Samuel just gave vocal support for what we're doing. Yeah, wow. That's weird. That's the first non-serial killer thing. Not only does he know that Max is on his case, he right. supports it. So he can't be complicit in the dark. Oh, I guess he really? still could he... be. If, like, he's, you know, addled or whatever, and mm. the boss tells him to, and he's just, oh, Samuel has to do this. I don't like Nathan, but Samuel has to. Like, he could still oh, be you, complicit. Yeah, depending how far along he is on this, like, crazy train, I guess. Mm. Um, he might be able to... Yeah, he might just have to do it because, yeah, it's uh, authority or something like or, that. Or, yeah, but that's yeah, just yeah. how... He's not all there mentally, yeah, so he could yeah. feel... True, true. Um, but, yeah, that, that is curious, though. He's also not a fan. So yeah. He, something had to have happened between them. Right, yeah, he's yeah. seen something. I actually mm-hmm. just talked to Kate Marsh in the hospital. She's doing so much better. Because of you, Max. That was quite a rescue. She only tried to jump up the second story last week, or yesterday, <laughs> instead of the eighth. Oh, man. Destiny, if we only get one. It could have gone either way. Yeah. Samuel, do you think that we each have a destiny? Yes. Miss Grant, calm down. I, I do, Max. Brooke is really in going many for different it. lifetimes, of course. She's only got that one animation. She <laughs> believed in something different. She's like so. seeing Kumbaya while she... That's her destiny. Drive. I believe Drives her drive. Kate just needed some more... Helpful spirits like her friend Max. Oh, God. I hope she finds them now. That would make more sense as dialogue if you were dead. All right, Do here we go. Do you ever talk with David Matson? He talks to me. I listen. That's how David operates. He's usually not in the room, though. He sees things. <laughs> people. But I, I think he sees you, Max. Why? Makes more Why sense, yeah. Because you both see with cameras. I think you have better vision than both of us. <laughs> no, Max. I-, I just look at everything from a different angle. <laughs> Pedophilia. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> so, oh my god. Her destiny to be a time traveling X Man mutant. It does seem like Max could fall into that category, that category yeah, 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 for sure. And she's also, you know, a coming coming of age mm-hmm. and dealing with all the personal life at the same time. So she would fit right into an oh. X Men story. Actually. Oh, for sure, for sure. She'd be super OP in X Men. Though she could just like go back in time and change any anything. Yeah, usually the X Men who are super OP, they don't write as if they are, True. or they're villains, or like they are. So, to write them well, they have to be super weak mentally yes. in order to be super OP mm-hmm. with a power, a physical power. Right, right, yeah, that's true. Onward! Yes, indeed. His I favorite. I definitely have questions about what's happening to the animals in Arcadia Bay. Oh, many do. 
These poor creatures have no choice in what happens to them. Especially when I'm around. <laughs> yeah, finally, this yeah. one he could actually give insight on, so let's see what he's got to say. Yeah, yeah. How can anybody explain all those poor beached whales? My dad was a fisherman, and he'd take well, me out I to put all the whale sink. food up on the beach. <laughs> all the they, whale food. <laughs> they just cry. It's just a big sack. <laughs> it's all plankton. Yeah. Do you think yeah, this is some kind of eco disaster or I think it's more than that. Somebody is causing all this to happen. You think so, Samuel? It's you, Max. You and Arcadia Maxie. Bay are connected by time and tide. So next time That's I have oddly a question, on point. Yeah, really. I'm coming to you. Please. Right. Please don't. <laughs> huh. He's just gonna come to Max. Max, where do babies come from? <laughs> well, I'm glad to see your squirrels are still healthy and happy on the campus. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> if I saw a baby squirrel and a mommy squirrel. <sighs> I just wanted to be a daddy squirrel. Of, <laughs> the only thing that calms so I try. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of food. Which His reminds me hates that, me. that I have to feed them now. No. No. Hey. Hey, no. Here's no. some poison, buddy. Oh. Can I take your picture? Were we supposed to take your picture before he did that? Hopefully not. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, ho. Can I take your picture now? Excuse me, Samuel. That ended the conversation, which I didn't want to do, but I've got a right. photo op. Photo op. Photo op. Fo what? Look. Do Look. You think it's you a squirrel. Hide from Max Caulfield, squirrel paparazzi? Yes, because I can't take a yeah. photo, you crazy. I think there's just another squirrel behind you. Oh. Yeah. Okay. God damn it, Max. Well, How would you like a partner for a quick photo op? I have to get them together. Oh, you can get food from Sam. Ah, yes. Yeah. Samuel, shut up. I'm going to lure the hell out of your squirrel friends. <laughs> that was interesting that, that Samuel... Food in your belly. Is that good enough? Yeah, really. What do you have to keep doing? Oh, we can't interact with the box anymore. Oh, I think the squirrel. Yeah, the squirrel moved over. You mother. <laughs> <laughs> you mother. Get that food in Give your me belly. my boot back. Whoa! Whoa the, heck? the squirrel can also time travel. That nut turned into a squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> squirrel! There you go. What the? What's going yeah, on? Yeah, there it is. Just do it, Max. Just take the goddamn picture. <laughs> Thank you. That squirrel, like, got ready for you. Yeah. With that picture. It even yeah. looked over and smiled. Okay, great. Now we're going to tab journal another day. <laughs> Eat up. Food is the universal language. Not for rocks. Think about that, Max. Yeah. They don't eat. That's pretty messed up of you, actually. Uh oh, optional photo four. We already missed one. We missed one. Rocks? Is that what that is? I guess, yeah, you can't really tell. It does look like rocks. It looks like a Zen kind of rocks. Yeah, stack. Zen rock garden. Stack of rocks. Stacko Rocko. Yeah. Stacko's modern life. Here's where I'm thinking we're getting caught in the dark rooms, mm -hmm. though. And here's where we get caught by a giant eagle. But yeah, exactly. Uh, walk walk oh, around like a baby. Wants to yell at us. Sorry to bother you again, okay. Samuel. There's no bother here, Max. Please, My name's Samuel. I definitely <laughs> have questions about what's happening to the animals in Arcadia Bay. Oh, many do. These poor creatures have no choice in what happens to them. Like Rachel, when I skinned her alive. Yeah, she, exactly. What do you think about all those dying She disrespected birds? my squirrels. Very <laughs> dozens near the Tabanga. Ah, the oh. pile of rocks is a squirrel grave that he made, maybe. Oh, interesting. Okay. What do you mean, what happened? We know what happened. Dead is birds, we just asked them. The Tabanga? We'll find out if the souls of the bird move on. Not that we can prove it. It's so Then obvious. how will we find out? Unless it's fate. Then it 
doesn't matter. I still okay, have a million <laughs> questions about Speaking what's happening to our kids. Riddles game. right now. That must be why Miss Gant says you're one of her favorite students at Blackwell. You just call her Miss Gant. Miss Gant, yeah. Even though Miss Grant, what do you think about the eclipse, dummy? I have zero science skills to <laughs> it's explain. Like, oh well, actually, it was. Like <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's because science has no explanation. No offense to Miss Grant here, but this is just the beginning. No offense to you, it was just a typo in my script when I called her Miss Gant. Miss Gant, yeah. Uh, beginning of what? It's I guess just the beginning. beginning yeah. Of what? Yeah. Oh, I, I don't believe anything ever ends, especially time. That's why I can sense something bigger is coming to Arcadia Bay. And Max, yes, what? I don't like it at all. I don't like it at all when you don't answer our question, Jack. Yeah, that's what. That doesn't answer anything we were talking about. What are you, what yeah, are you even doing? The beginning of what? Something is coming. Yeah, yeah, we know what. We literally just had this conversation. Yeah. I keep thinking. How's that Rachel? Rachel Amber in your has a few answers. <laughs> How's your Rachel skin suit going? If Rachel <laughs> wants to be found. Okay. <laughs> Where is she, you vile piece of film? <laughs> That's the real secret. Where is she? If anybody knows, it will be you. My dreams tell me that. But. Max, all I can tell you is to stay on your path and you'll find what you're looking for. Rachel Lambert. I feel like Sam was not real. <laughs> 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 like, if Miss Grant wasn't directly talking to him, I would be like, okay, Samuel's just like a byproduct of this, <laughs> like this power that she has and she's just like creating this alternate person yeah that's true it could be like a, a spiritual representation yeah like, like it's trying to come and guide her right yeah that's right. true yeah because he does he speaks in that otherworldly tone yeah, and all that exactly he's just so out of place from everyone else in this like in this world that they've created mm -hmm. it, i'd be very convinced yeah and now he's gone more from creepy groundskeeper into the realm of like spiritual guy like, who does have a sixth sense that's somewhat accurate right yeah yeah exactly because i mean he knew i mean that he didn't know all the details but he knows that max is involved in all of this right. somehow and, and like, in a way that's related to time and tide yeah. like uh, 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 yeah <laughs> yeah maybe he also has this power yeah <laughs> and that's what turned him so creepy <laughs> <laughs> i'd rather be in her class than the vortex club yes you would Rachel saw right through them. She's then not why did she join? <laughs> Nobody should be trapped in the Vortex Club. Get out now, Max. I'm While not... time is on your side. I'm sorry. Samuel. I better get going now. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Max. This is just... Yeah, You're great. It's coming a lot. <laughs> gonna look at the hell of you. Look, the hell, look at the hell out of these squirrels. Eat up. Food is the universal <laughs> language. You've got three days or two days. Maybe... Three hours before you're dead. <laughs> All right, we got to get to this freaking Tabanga. If it's <gasps> what the f make, make art, not war. war. Beautiful. The tree isn't happy about it. Though. Oh yeah, look at that. Yes. I'm look at this. I'm glad Samuel let me know about these rocks. Rest in peace, birdies. What? What? You can't. There it is. We oh. needed the Tabanga in the background. Oh, that's cool. That's interesting. Yeah. I wonder how many we missed just because you need to da rotate the damn camera. Yeah, that's oh, really? crazy. That's, yeah, so hyper specific. One photo. It makes sense, for too. Yeah, right. Especially, yeah, for her, framing is like so important for her taking pictures. Yeah, yeah, and you would want the Tabanga in the background. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh, that's cool. Now it says Cairn instead of rocks. Did you see that? Hey, Max, there we go. Yeah, see? Karen. Now it says Karen. Oh, she yeah. She knows what yeah. it is. That's cool. I don't think the Tabanga will ever give up any secrets to us. I mean, you've seen Never. weirder stuff. If yeah. that thing started I'm talking to us, Samuel I would let me know about these rocks. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. I would Rest be like, okay, just par for the course here at Arcadia Bay. All of the foreheads are all like, William says you are horrible. <laughs> William says... You have doomed him to damnation for eternity. His I... soul still haunts this totem. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
Raggle. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so that's good. OMG. <laughs> R-O-F-L. William says, rot in hell. Yeah. <laughs> he wanted to live. All you had to do was write him a note yeah. or ask nicely. He would have happily got her a different car. Yeah. <laughs> Just steal the keys. You already did it yeah. before. <laughs> Even nudge the TV five centimeters to the left. Anything. <laughs> William says you're a sick freak. <laughs> oh, man. Well, on that happy note of the talking to Banga <laughs> from Japan, from Topanga. Yeah. All right. Boy meets world. Yeah, exactly. Good at that. We actually have all four photos now. Yeah, so far. Good. So that will make us only missing like twenty percent. Right. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Ah. ah. Well, we got 80. We got a B. <laughs> B minus, much like Warren. <laughs> yeah, we got just enough to make sure that we'll never get an achievement for it. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So that's going to do it for this episode of Muy, 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 Muy Strange. Yes. Yes, indeed. We will uh, see you guys in the next episode for more Life is Strange. Or we'll be interacting with some more, uh, I guess, some more classmates and hopefully finding out some secrets about Nathan. What? Oh, these are just files. Yeah. Okay. I didn't know we could just suddenly... Steal files and have them. See things yeah. from all over where we've been before. Mm. That's crazy! So everything that we've seen in every world is a collectible? That we can get... Like, is this going to show us literally everything that we saw on every wall? Every... No, okay, it doesn't. Oh, it just shows you, I guess, the major ones. Right, yeah, yeah, exactly. Just pertinent information. Woo! So that's going to do it for this episode of Life is Strange. We will see you guys next time. Woo woo! <laughs> yes, huh? Yes, you get on board, and we'll see you guys in the next episode for more Life is Strange. <laughs>